Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into GitHub trending, today number 18, where I've rounded up 29 of the hottest open source projects that are making waves right now. Let's get started. This is open source for Adobe Acrobat. Meet PDF Craft, a complete document toolkit that gives you premium features. It handles everything, merging, splitting, compressing, converting, and even OCR. Unlike those sketchy online tools that track your data, this is open source, meaning you can host it yourself and keep your files 100% private. It's the ultimate utility for managing your documents without a monthly subscription. This might be the end of buying massive GPU clusters just for memory. Meet Engram, DeepSeek's brand new architecture that finally separates thinking from remembering. Right now, AI models waste huge amounts of compute just to recall static facts. Engram fixes this by adding a dedicated memory module that uses modernized Engram lookups. It gives the AI instant O1 access to knowledge without the heavy processing. If you love the speed of C but hate the lack of features, you need to see this. Meet Zen C, a library that finally gives C the batteries include experience. We all know C doesn't have built-in hash maps, dynamic vectors, or safe strings, right? Zen C adds all of that. It's a lightweight toolkit that handles networking and data structures with a clean, unified API. It basically lets you write code that feels as Python while keeping the performance of C. This is the way to give your AI agent infinite memory. Meet SimpleMem, an open source framework that fixes the context window bottleneck. Instead of paying to reread thousands of lines of raw chat history, this tool uses semantic compression. It strips out the fluff, extracts the hard facts, and merges them into a compact, optimized database. The result? You get 30 times lower token costs and significantly better recall than standard RAG. This is the weirdest library on GitHub right now because it contains zero lines of code. Meet When Words, a prompt-only library designed entirely for AI agents. Instead of downloading a node module or a Python package, you just grab the specification file and feed it to Claude or Cursor. It instantly generates a perfect test-driven time formatting library in whatever language you're using. Rust, Go, Swift, you name it. Doom coding is a guide for coding on your phone anywhere, anytime. Like doom scrolling, but productive. The setup, Tailscale VPN, Termius Terminal app, Claude code, and a computer running 24 seven at home. Once configured, you SSH into your machine from your phone and run Claude code in the terminal. The creator coded prototypes from Taiwan while traveling, built apps at the club, even coded mid-run. Better Shot, an open source alternative to CleanShot X. It replaces your native Mac screenshot tool with editor that instantly adds beautiful gradients, backgrounds, and rounded corners to your captures. It has built-in annotation tools, handles window snapping perfectly, and runs with native performance. If you want that polished Twitter-ready aesthetic for your docs or socials without the price tag, this is the tool you need. Agent Browser, the CLI from Vercel Labs, designed specifically for AI agents. Standard headless browsers waste thousands of tokens, sending raw, messy DOM trees that confuse your model. Agent Browser fixes this by stripping the web down to the essentials, reducing context usage by 93%, while still letting your agent click, type, and navigate. It combines a Rust binary with a playwright daemon, giving your AI a clean way to surf the web without blowing your budget. This is how you clean up the garbage Microsoft sneaks onto your PC. Meet Winslop, the sanitizer for Windows bloat. We all know a fresh Windows 11 install is now full of slop, ads in your start menu, forced AI widgets, and pre-installed links to apps you don't want. Winslop is a lightweight utility designed specifically to identify and nuke this clutter. It scans for the promoted apps and giving you back a clean operating system in seconds. Situation Monitor is a real-time global monitoring system that pulls together everything happening right now in one interface. It aggregates global markets, breaking news, and critical infrastructure status into a single high-density display. It tracks everything from crypto prices and sector heat maps to the status of strategic shipping lanes like the Suez Canal, allowing you to monitor the state of the entire world at a glance without ever opening a news site. 
Check My Git, a tool that instantly transforms your GitHub profile into a professional portfolio. No signups, no config, just type your username and it automatically pulls your contribution graph, tech stack, and pinned projects into a beautiful bento grid or resume layout. You can grab a shareable link or export it as a high-res PNG in seconds. It is hands down the fastest way to prove to recruiters that you actually ship code. This is the training program seasoned developers need when switching to Go. Gokata is a collection of daily coding challenges designed to drill idiomatic Go patterns into muscle memory. It's not about learning programming basics. It's about mastering the Go way of solving common engineering problems. The challenges are organized into six categories, concurrency, performance, HTTP, errors, file systems, and testing. Autocoder is built on the Claude Agent SDK and uses a two-agent pattern to build complete applications over multiple sessions. The initializer agent reads your spec, generates features stored in SQLite, sets up the project structure, and initializes Git. Then the coding agent picks up where it left off, implements features one by one, marks them as passing, and auto-continues between sessions. It includes a React-based web UI with Kanban board views. This is the portfolio template developers want. Porthat is built with Tanstack Start and React, and you configure everything from a single JSON file. No messing with components, just edit data.json, and you're done. It comes with six built-in theme, plus you can create custom themes by pasting a coolers.co URL. Deploy ready for Vercel, Netlify, or Docker. Nanocode is a Claude code alternative that's literally one Python file. It has zero dependencies, uses only the standard library, and clocks in at just 250 lines of code. Despite its size, it runs a full agentic loop with tools to grep, edit files, and run bash commands. It was built using Claude code, then used to build itself. If you want to understand how autonomous coding works without digging through a massive framework, this is it. MCP CLI, the missing debugger for the model context protocol. Built by Phil Schmid, this tool lets you test and interact with your MCP servers directly in the terminal without needing to load them into Claude desktop or cursor. It acts as a lightweight client that connects to your server script, allowing you to list available tools, execute function calls manually, and inspect the raw JSON responses. Sopro is a lightweight 169 million parameter text-to-speech model with zero-shot voice cloning, trained as a side project on a single L40S GPU. Instead of the typical transformer architecture, it uses dilated convolutions like WaveNet, plus lightweight cross-attention layers. The results? 0.25 real-time factor on CPU, meaning it generates 30 seconds of audio in just 7.5 seconds on an M3 base. If you're juggling multiple Codex AI coding sessions, this is one of the productivity helpers. Codex Monitor is a macOS app built with Tori that gives you a sidebar UI to manage all your Codex agent workspaces, let you spawn agents and track threads without dropping into the CLI. It spins up a Codex app server per workspace and streams events over JSON RPC so you can restore sessions and even see Git diffs alongside your AI chat. MIDI2 is an interactive terminal app UI for MIDI composing, mixing, and playback, all right from your shell with no heavy DAW required. It gives you a lightweight, rust-powered interface where you can sequence MIDI, edit tracks, and jam without leaving your terminal. Think of it like a mini DAW in TUI form, perfect for keyboard-centric creators, retro coders, or anyone who wants MIDI composition and playback without GUI bloating. HapticPad is a custom six-button macro pad project with a display and haptic feedback built entirely as a DIY hardware-software combo. It's designed by hardware nerds who love CNC and tactile control boards, and it packs real haptic feedback into every button and encoder knob so your macros feel good to use. You get a programmable keypad with an integrated screen for labels that gives you that physical click sensation, even though it's open source. Tailsnitch is a security auditor that scans your tailnet for 50-plus misconfigurations and overly permissive access controls. It checks for critical issues like default allow all policies, reusable auth keys, tagged devices without key expiry, disabled tailnet lock, public funnel exposure, and root SSH access without re-auth. You run it, 
It audits your entire setup across seven categories. Tilax, a bi-directional bridge that turns your legacy text files into modern types to documents instantly. Unlike older tools that use fragile find and replace scripts, Tilax actually parses the full syntax tree, meaning your complex integrals, nested matrices, and even TIC-Z diagrams survive the conversion perfectly. Best of all, it works both ways, so you can write in the modern typesed format and still export a perfect LaTeX file. Toasty is a tiny Windows Toast notification CLI built by Scott Hanselman that pops native Windows notifications when long-running tasks finish, especially AI CLI workloads like Claude Code or Gemini CLI. Just install it, run a task, and when your agent finishes, a Toast notification appears with an icon and title auto-detected for whatever tool you're using. No extra config needed. Textual Sticky Notes, TUI a keyboard-centric sticky notes app right in your terminal, built with Python and Textual. No browser, no GUI, just fast keyboard workflows with rich colors, priorities, and pinning to organize thoughts or reminders. You can navigate, add, and search notes without touching the mouse, and all your data auto-saves to a local JSON file so notes persist across sessions. Talus Pilot, the missing graphical interface for your Kubernetes clusters. Talus Pilot solves this by giving you a modern web dashboard that talks directly to the Talus API. It lets you visualize node health, edit machine configurations, and even push OS upgrades with a simple click, turning the hard mode of bare metal Kubernetes into a clean visual experience. SAS Heaven is an open source archive of failed SAS startups, not success stories, but real post-mortems that show what went wrong, how long they lasted, their MRR, user stats, and hard lessons learned. The idea? Learn from failure, not just success. Each entry includes honest numbers and links to the source code so you can explore, fork, or even repurpose what others built and shut down. Twoiter, a lightning terminal dashboard designed specifically for code reviews. It connects to GitHub and pulls your pull requests directly into the CLI, allowing you to browse file trees, view diffs with full syntax highlighting, and leave comments without ever touching your mouse. Built in Rust, it's snappy, supports Vim-style navigation, and keeps your entire workflow inside the terminal. Wall Panel, the DIY project that finally replaces those ugly tablets taped to your wall. Created by Dotstar Tech, this repo gives you the blueprints to build a dedicated smart home controller using a Raspberry Pi. It covers everything from the 3D printed enclosure to the kiosk mode software configuration, turning a raw touchscreen into integrated command center for Home Assistant. It's the weekend build for makers who want their smart home to look as good as it works. Stop Slop, a custom skill that forces Claude to stop sounding like a LinkedIn influencer. It's a set of aggressive negative constraints that strips away the AI accent. It bans the cliches, kills the throat-clearing intros, and forces the model to write with varied sentence structures and actual density. You just drop the file into your Claude project, and suddenly your AI generates text that a human might want to read.